Little over a year ago, a young girl riding her scooter was seriously injured when a driver crashed into her. The driver that struck that seven-year-old girl, Haley Molina, Anthony Sudeth, is now behind bars after admitted to driving drunk and then crashing his SUV into that little girl. Tonight, we hear from Haley and her mom about what the last year has been like. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lasciuto joins us now live from Warwick with that story. Sheena? Well, it was a very horrifying time here in Warwick. More than a year ago, I was actually the reporter on scene that night. Eyewitness News was here at this park as police were investigating that crash. A seven-year-old girl was hit by a car. And tonight, we're learning more about what life has been like since that horrifying day. She's surrounded by love, showing off, laughing. It doesn't take long. Before you know it, everyone around eight-year-old Haley Molina finds themselves smiling. You feel amazing. It's been just over a year since Haley was hit by a car. Police say the driver's blood alcohol content was nearly five times the legal limit. That driver is now behind bars. It was me and the four kids. Haley's mom, Amanda, was at the park with her when it happened. Back then, it was hard to even picture what life would be like now. Now. I was preparing myself for them to tell me the worst because of just the nature and the, I seen her. I was right there. Haley spent months in the hospital recovering. She was seven at the time and says she doesn't remember a thing. She's had 10 plus surgeries since the beginning. It's hard to even keep track of now. Unfortunately, that isn't the case for those around her. A tough memory for her brothers and sister. Uh, they were there, so they seen it happen. And for them, especially her not coming home for so long, it was more like the what's going to happen, what's going on, is she ever going to come back? You know, are we ever going to live normal again? Amanda Molina says Haley has come quite a long way, but the road to recovery isn't over. I'm strong, I'm brave. Appreciate your children <laughs> every day. Keep them as close as possible. I mean, I definitely have a much stronger relationship with them now after this. I appreciate every second with them. Now, there is a fundraiser coming up here in Warwick for Haley to help pay for her medical procedures. If you'd like to help and learn more information, you can visit our website, WPRI.com. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Sheena Lusciuto, Eyewitness News.